Grade 11 Functions and Applications introduces the basic features of the function by extending students' experiences with quadratic relations. It focuses on quadratic, trigonometric, and exponential functions and their use in modeling real-world situations. MCF3M will include the following units. Unit 1 – Introduction to Quadratic Functions When you throw something into the air and it drops to the ground, that projectile motion creates a parabolic shape known as a quadratic relation. In this unit, you will expand your knowledge of the characteristics of quadratic relations from grade 10. You will also examine multiple ways of graphing these types of functions, exploring how changing variables in the equation affects the shape and location of the graph. Unit 2 – Working with Quadratic Functions how much money should a company spend on marketing ads if their goal is to maximize profits? Well, the answer to this problem can actually be found by modeling the quadratic function it implies. Once you complete this unit, you will have learned how to identify key characteristics of the function from its graph, meaning you will easily be able to calculate the optimal advertising budget for any company. In this unit, We'll also explore how to simplify quadratic expressions and solve a variety of quadratic equations. Unit 3 – Trigonometry and Acute Triangles Many aspects of architecture and engineering rely on triangular supports. When creating different structures, trigonometry is what helps the engineer calculate the correct angles in order to create structures that are going to be properly supported. In this unit, you will learn how to solve problems involving acute triangles using primary trigonometric ratios, the sine law and the cosine law. Unit 4 – Sinusoidal Functions A human heartbeat, the rotation of the earth on its axis, the sound wave created by a singular guitar strum. All these things can be modeled as a periodic function. In this unit, you will develop your understanding of periodic and sinusoidal relationships and begin to draw connections between their equations and graphs. You will also explore the key characteristics of these functions and use them to model and solve a variety of different problems. Unit 5 – Exponential Functions You know how they say bad news travels fast? One person tells their friend a secret, then that friend tells some other friends at lunch, and so on and so on, until the whole school and their mother knows that Sally dumped Joe at the football game. Well, the way gossip like this spreads is just one example of how many everyday phenomena can be modeled using exponential functions. In this unit, you will learn how to simplify and evaluate expressions involving exponents as well as identify the different ways to represent these exponential functions and solve related problems. Unit 6 – Solving Financial Problems You decide to put the $3,000 you earned this summer into a savings account for five years. Your bank provides you with two options. With option 1, you can invest the $3,000 at 5% annual interest, compounded quarterly. With option 2, you can invest that same $3,000 at 7% interest compounded annually. Which option should you choose? In this unit, we will look at real-world finance questions like this and learn how to solve a variety of word problems involving calculation of compound interest and annuities.